Okay, fifth graders, this is 8-5, and uh, it's just multiplying fractions together. And this is something I've actually already taught you. You guys are actually kind of the head of the, way ahead of the curve here. Um, so this section is really going to be review. So uh, in this first example here, it says Amelia takes pictures with her smartphone. Of all the pictures she's got, it says five, six of them are animals. And then it says... Um, uh, what fraction of all of her um, pictures are dogs and so then right here it says three quarters of the animal photos are of dogs and so it's going to be simply three quarters times five sixths and you guys know how to do that and they even show you right here it's kind of convenient um, it's going to be you just multiply straight across three times five is what 15 and then um, and then four times six is what? That's gonna be 24. And um, 16 over 24 actually can be reduced, um, or 15 over 24, actually wait, I take that back. Let's see, 15 over 24. Um, yeah, three goes into 15. In fact, they do it right here. Three goes into 15 what, five times? And then three goes into 24 eight times. So it reduces down to five eighths. In this particular example, I'm going to write it over here a little bit bigger here. Three quarters times five sixths. There is something that we also could have done. And that is cross multiplying, or not cross multiplying, cross canceling. How many times is, uh, well, you want to look for a number. Let me back up here. You want to look for a number that goes into three and six evenly should be obvious that that would be three. Three goes into three once, three goes into six twice. Now you could just simply multi multiply straight across. What's one times five? That's gonna be five. What's uh, four times two? That's eight. And look at that, five eighths. The same thing we got here. So I'm just pointing this out to you that if you, if you don't do cross canceling like I did here, um, Assuming uh, your your multiplication, your products are correct, you'll still get the right answer once you reduce it. So anyways, just pointed that out to you, but it does make it a little bit easier to cross cancel when you can. Um, the convince me, what have we got there? Uh, the convince me, it says one tenth of all the animal pictures on Amelia's smartphone are of cats, right? And solve an equation to find what fraction of her pictures our cats. So that's going to be what? That's going to be one tenth times five sixth. Okay, I'll let you guys do that one. So I'm not going to do very many of these because you guys uh, should know how to do them. Um, number one here is the product of three six, which is the same as one half times five fourths, equal to the product of three quarters times five six. Um, Let's see here. So you're going to have to do both of those. Um, let me let me show you something here. Three six times five fourths. Okay. Um, times five over four. So. What's another name for three sixths? If if we were to reduce that, what could we reduce that to? Well, three three over six is the same thing as one half, so that might make it a little bit easier. Five over four. I just wanted to point that out to you that three over six is is the same thing as one half. All right. Let's look at the uh, let's look at the other one. Um, that's the first one there. Um, let's look at uh, three quarters times five over six. Okay, so th what do we have here? Three quarters times five six. So it's not quite the same. This, the top one was five over four. This one's five over six. Can we do any cross canceling there? Um, yeah, yeah, we sure can. In this one, we can do some cross canceling. Three and six. 
So um, let's see here. Three goes into three once, and three goes into six twice. Now we just multiply straight across. One times five is five, and four times two is is eight. So um, am I doing something wrong here? I don't think so. Looks right to me. Because uh, I'm not getting the same answer in the book as the book. I wonder if I made a mistake here somewhere. Um, so we did a cross canceling there. That's fine, and that's that's correct. And looking at the second one here, and that's five. And then four times two is eight. And I wrote it down correctly: three quarters times five over six. Okay. So then um, I'm going to double check the top one here. I'm kind of talking to myself as we go. I want to make sure I didn't make a mistake. 3, 6 times 5 over 4. And 3, 6 is the same as 1 half. And then I multiplied straight across. Um, oh, I didn't do it yet. That's why I'm, I'm thinking I'm making a mistake here. Um, so 1 times 5 is 5 and 2 times 4 is 8 and so what do we have there we do have a we do have a match so um, 5 eighths and 5 eighths so what was the original question here um, are they this do they have the same answer the same product uh, yes um, explain how you know uh, because I uh, did the work <laughs> look there all right yeah sorry okay um let's see how is adding three ninths and six ninths different from multiplying the two fractions um well okay so i'm i'm just going to verbally tell you so when you're adding and they have the same denominator you just add the numerators you guys know that so they have the same denominator here these two so you would just add the numerators and you'd get nine over nine all right um multiplying then um you're, you're multiplying the numerators against the numerators and the denominators against the denominators. So that's kind of a, a, a wordy answer. I'll let you guys phrase that however you want, but that's essentially it. So listen, for the rest of these, yeah, I mean, you guys should be able to do. You should be able to do these. I'm gonna, I'll, let's look at number eight here, for example. Uh, Three-fifths times 11 twelfths. Can we do any cross-canceling? Uh, yeah, we sure can. How about the 3 and the 12? Okay. So um, 3 goes into 3 once, and 3 goes into 12 four times. Now we can just multiply straight across. What's 1 times 11? 11. What's 5 times 4? 20. So the answer to number, that was number 8, is 11 over 20. You guys should know how to do these. Independent practice? Wow, look at all those. Okay, so just remember that you always do what's in the parentheses first. I'm going to look at number 26 really quick here. Let's look at number 26. So um, do what's in the parentheses first. And what what's convenient here? Look, it's subtraction, and they both have the same denominator. So what's, not, what's 3 from 9? It's going to be 6. So this is number 26 here. It's going to be six tenths times one quarter. Can we do any cross canceling? Yes, we can. Um, what number goes into four and six evenly? Well, two does. Two goes into four twice. Two goes into six three times. Now we just multiply straight across. What's three times one? Three. What's ten times two? Twenty. So the answer to number 26 is 3 over 20. All right, let's look at the next page, which is the problem solving. Um, Eduardo runs six laps around the track. 
at school he runs three and a half miles to get home how far will he run in all it's a quarter mile track so um, first off six laps so it's going to be the first part is going to be six times one quarter you know how to multiply whole numbers and fractions that equals something whatever that something is um, you're going to add to that three and one half what a that'd be a great question on a test i might throw that one in there keep that in mind to amend the u.s constitution three quarters of all 50 states must approve the amendment if 35 states approve the amendment what will be will the constitution be amended so it has to be three quarters so you have to figure out what is what is three quarters of 50. okay so you turn 50 into a fraction put a one underneath it and um, if that number is greater than 35 then 35 states would not be enough because it has to be three quarters or I think I misspoke that if it's if it's 35 or above then that would mean that 35 is three quarters at least three quarters of 50 okay uh, 33 in Miss Spark plays classroom two-fifths of the students play chess of the students who play chess five six also plays Sudoku if there are 30 students in a class how many play chess and Sudoku well first part is going to be two-fifths times 30 turn 30 into a fraction it's going to equal something and then again kind of like number 31 here whatever that something is um, that's going to be times five six and then whatever number you get that's um, if there are 30 students how many play chess and sudoku okay so whatever that last number is is the answer to number 33 uh, these are good questions i like these actually uh 34 one sheet of stamps is shown at the right emma needs to buy 50 stamps to send out invitations for her party will two sheets of stamps be enough how do you know um well gosh uh, count them how many stamps are there and she needs to buy at least 50 stamps and if she buys two sheets will that be enough okay all right 35 36 you guys can do so that's it i will see you guys later